Ah, there we are. Sorry, I'm a little bit late for those of you who've been eagerly anticipating <laughs> seeing Sandy Breakin and his horrible accordion. Or horrible Sandy Breakin and his nice accordion. Here's the accordion and me, you can decide. Uh, yeah, sorry for the delay because uh, I couldn't get the, I couldn't find the little go live video on the Fife Diversity page. But here I am live on uh, Fife Diversity Week. Thank you so much for the invitation again, a second time. I never get invited back. Here is my little doggy. Come to say hello, Toki. Say hello to all the viewers. There he is. Arr, arr. He's quite. He's, he knows when a show is starting. He normally does my Sunday show with me, which is Sandy on Sunday on quarantine gigs. <laughs> Any of you are ever bored on a Sunday afternoon? Uh, tune into that at 2 p.m. That 45-minute show. But today, don't worry. You've only got half an hour of non-stop accordion hell. Yes, I'm just going to give you a little taster of the kind of stuff I do. And um, Toki, who knows? Toki may join me. He's an incredible accordion player, despite the fact he doesn't have opposable thumbs. Those little paws go wow up and down the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to start with a little tune. Uh, yes, I was going to say, uh, the, nobody invites me back for a second gig. That's incredible. I only get my back a second time to places to apologise usually. So thank you so much, Fife Diversity Week. I'm going to lower my chair. Wow, look at that. No, it's a little bit, I want a little bit higher because I want to see the keyboard action. Here is a set of tunes called Hanging Out the Window. And I should be hanging out the window today because it is unbelievably funny. And here's Toki, he's come to join me on, on the show. Well done, Toki. It's always much easier when you've got co hosts. It's called Hanging Out the Windows. <laughs> he loves the accordion music. It's almost as good as bacon. Oh, yeah. Bacon and accordions. Yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah, delicious. Yeah. 
surprisingly well for a first set. Normally it takes a little while for the fingers to warm up. I just spotted something hiding under my desk here. Hold on a minute. Ah, it's a little robin. This was part of the uh, part of the costume on Sunday's show. As you can see, Toki is very interested in it because being a slightly stupid dog, he does not realise that this is not a real robin. <laughs> it's not delicious. It's only made of polystyrene. Look at him go for it as if it's a tasty little bird. Um, yum, yum, yum. Yeah, oh, off you go. Eat that polystyrene. Well, he is a lucky dog. Not every dog he gets Paul Now it's absolutely roasting in here, as you can see, because I am perspiring profusely. And part of the reason for that is because I am a fraud. Yes, I'm not even in Fife. It's Fife Diversity Week. And I'm not, I'm, I'm so diverse from Fife. I'm over in Edinburgh. But my ex-wife and my son and both of my sisters all live in Fife. And I'm almost, uh, I'm, I'm over there almost every day. So uh, that is why I have been allowed very graciously by uh, Five Diversity Week to appear on this show. Thank you so much again. Uh, I hope this is working by the way, otherwise all this will be in, in vain. Never mind. Uh, what we're going to do now? Oh yes, I'm going to do another tune because that's what it's all about. It's about accordion music. And this is a very small accordion that I play by the way. It's just, uh, it's just the same as a normal accordion that you would see a fully grown adult play. Even though I am allegedly an adult, uh, I play these little kid sized ones because they're nice and light and they've got a wonderful tone to them and um the oh my god he's eating that robin he just he's eating the tail off the robin that's my favorite christmas robin you rascal uh, uh yes he destroyed a, a a small toy turkey live on the show on uh, sunday and uh, he is really quite uh he's, he's a bit of a wolf in lamb's clothing he looks like a cuddly little ball of fluff but underneath there, he's got the big jaws of the big bad wolf. Um, so, uh, that's enough about doggies. Oh yeah, he destroyed a live, a li not a live turkey, but a, a soft cuddly toy turkey. Uh, it, was, it was brilliant. He decapitated it and um, he cut off his legs and wings, all live on the show here uh, behind me. I, I didn't realise it was going on. I was just playing away uh, quite contentedly. Meanwhile, this, there was chicken, turkey carnage behind me. It was awful. People were phoning the RSPCA and everything. Oh, he's back. The... Uh, Say hello again, Tucky. Say hello again. He he knows there's something happening. He, he knows there's people on the other side of that little screen. You see, right? We better go on with the show. Better mind, instead of talking rubbish. Yes. Um, no more robins for you. Not till Christmas time. <laughs> Here's a wee set of reels. <laughs>
surprisingly well as well it's going great today what a fantastic show you would have expected it i thought it was going to be a disaster <laughs> well it's unbelievably hot here today in the center of edinburgh yes i know i'm not in fife sorry i apologize for not being fife i'm not even a real fifer i come from west lothian originally but i'm a wannabe fifer yeah what's my family in fife and i've got i've even got friends in fife yeah yeah I could be a fifer too if I wanted to. I do want to. Uh, yeah, it's very hot today. It's not supposed to be hot in Scotland and Fife or anywhere, uh, but it's roasting today. So that's that's a nice change, though, isn't it? Uh, and poor wee Toki, he's got his uh, he's got his full winter coat on. <laughs> Unfortunately, can he take his coat off like us humans? He has to get uh, shorn. By the way, let me show you what Toki wears when the postman comes, just for a laugh. Toki wears this scary face. Come here, Toki. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Yeah, come up, come up. Look, watch him put the scary lion face on. Roar! Oh my God, you should see the postman. He jumps out of his skin every day when he gets the little lion face at the door. Yes, you are a little lion, aren't you? Anyway, that's very silly. Very silly. So, we're not going to do any more scary masks for the postman, are we? No. Let me play you something nice and gentle to calm you down after that scary lion face episode. That, believe it or not, that was made by a friend of mine. Uh, called David Brady, who, who just made it out of bits of rubbish. And uh, I, I, I kid you not, if you look at the back of it, it's like bits of cornflake box and stuff and bits of old um, carpet and that, but it's incredibly lifelike. Yes, and, and Toki loved it. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Anyway, stop walking around. Yes, back to the show. Something nice and gentle. I was going to play you some nice waltzes. Uh, this is a lovely waltz. Uh, called Kate Martin's Waltz, uh, it's written by the fabulous accordion player Blair Douglas from Braze in Sky. <laughs> uh, Blair uh, is a big influence on me as a youngster and uh, he's a great tune writer and a great player. And Kate Martin is uh, actually somebody I know. He wrote this tune for Kate Martin uh, uh, before I played the tune before I knew her, but later I met her because she is the sister of a very good friend of mine now. Ewan Martin, who's a playwright, who wrote uh, lots of, still writes lots of wonderful plays, one of which I've been in. I've been in a few, actually, but the, mo the most uh, well-known in the Highlands, anyway, is The Accidental Death of an Accordionist, where I was an accordionist, live on stage, dead on stage, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's not the first time I've died on stage, I can assure you. Uh, wonderful, wonderful comedy play. And uh, anyway, uh, what am I doing? I'm playing Kate Martin's Waltz. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fabulous Kate Martin's Waltz by Mary Douglas there and a lovely waltz is that's one of the most popular waltzes you get Kayleigh's not that I've been at a Kayleigh for a long time no not since lockdown and it doesn't look like there'll be many Kayleigh's in the near future either but one day one day we will be back in each other's arms yes well I don't actually have anybody in my arms I, I, I of course just have an accordion over my arms the musical bra as we call it <laughs> Uh, but no, you, the audience, can be in each other's arms instead, instead of, at the minute, uh, two metres apart. Well, Kayleys were allowed to be two metres apart, but not even allowed, not even allowed to have a Kaylee. Who would have thought Kayleys would be banned? Who would have thought live music would have been banned for most of the year? Anyway, we just have to see how things go, but it, uh, things are getting better every week. On the whole, on the whole, anyway, with minor setbacks. Anyway, um, that's why I'm on Five Diversity Week because the virus, because we're all online now. I'm here trapped inside this little tiny screen. Ah, ah. But uh, it's better than being not performing anywhere. So I'm performing now live in my own living room, which is great because it means I don't have to wear any trousers, but you don't know that because you can't see down there. <laughs> I could be wearing slippers, I could be wearing high heels. Who knows? Who knows? We just have to keep guessing. Now, we've got some jigs coming up next. Yes, jigs, because jigs are good fun. Jigs are nice and bouncy. Yumpa dumpa dum. Uh, well, not quite like that. It's a rumpy pumpy pump. No, it's dickity 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 dickity. Yes, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jigs are great for dancing. If you feel like having a wee dance at home, please do. This is the wonderful Muckin Old Geordie's Buyer, which is a traditional. Uh, song, well, it's a song as well. Yes, the words are brilliant, actually. But uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sing them for you now. You'll be very pleased to hear. But um, it, uh, the Muckin and Geordie's Bar it translates as the cleansing of George's cowshed. <laughs> Thank you. 
most likely worrying when the dog falls asleep next to me. It means I'm not playing my very most exciting best. Never mind, I'll try harder with this next tune, The Mug of Brown Ale. <laughs> Toki Toki is not even my dog, he's a borrowed dog, he's totally stolen, he's my lodger's dog and he is actually Canadian, he wouldn't have been able to tell unless he barked, he would have, have recognised his, his Canadian bark instead of a Scottish bark, uh, but he hasn't barked yet because he's a little bit tired today because it's so hot, um, so yeah he's going home, he's going home with his owner to Canada in October, I'm going to miss him so much. He's a crazy dog because he actually eats, believe it or not folks, banana. Yeah, well he eats just about anything. He loves banana. <laughs> uh, could be, oh, okay, his, his owner's gone back to work so I will just get a banana quickly. <sighs> you don't hear that every day, do you? I'm just going to get a banana quickly. Look at, look at him perk up there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to eat this banana together live on stage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was a big bit. Greedy. Too greedy. <laughs> okay, don't tell his mummy. Now, we've got time for one more set. Maybe two. Uh, let's see, what should we do? Some two four marches. Very traditional, two four marches. Uh, one, two, one, two. So we can march along with, because that's what armies did most of history. They marched, they didn't actually fight very much. They spent most of the time marching to, to get to the fight and then marching back home again or running very quickly back home depending on how the battle went. Uh, so here's 2-4 March. It's called Donald McLean's Farewell to Omen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
going. Now, it was a little bit late in starting because uh, I know it, I know it sounds like an easy thing, but I couldn't find a <laughs> little picture of a video camera uh, at the beginning on the uh, on the Diversity Week 5 uh, page to start. But eventually, I managed to work it out. So, I'm going to give you an extra two minutes. Yes, absolutely free bonus track at the end of the show. Right now, I'm going to give you a little reel, uh, this is called Dinkies, it's a great little tune and I usually play it at the end of the night at a Kaylee actually, I play for Kaylee's fit a lot, not all the time, but um, not at all at the minute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, normally at the end of the night we play a little tune for everybody to have a wee final burl around the floor to. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the one that I kind of usually play. Uh, it just kind of happened organically over all the years. It's a nice wee tune to finish, it's called uh, Dinkies. Thank you so much for watching and uh, Hopefully you have seen that accordions are not all bad. No, they're not all good either, but there's something in between. Look, it's accordion. Yeah, doggies love accordions. This is a dog-friendly accordion for. Thank you so much, and thank you once again to Fife Diversity Week for inviting me on the show, even though I'm not even in Fife. Oh, what a fraud. <laughs> Goodbye from me, Sandy Deacon, and goodbye from Toki the Doggy. If you like anything that you heard today, <laughs> I know it's difficult to believe, but maybe somebody liked some of that. Um, you can get uh, lots of my uh, strange music on CD, yes, or you can even download it. Uh, but you can go to my website, which is um, Brecon All Records. That's my second name, Sandy Brecon, as in the town up in uh, Angus. Uh, yeah, sometimes I just drive up to Brecon and wander around because uh, everything's got my name in it. I just pretend I own the place. Uh, yeah, Brecon on Records. Or just type in Sandy Brecon and it'll take you to my website. And there's lots of wonderful goodies for Christmas. Yeah, it's not far away now. Think of the children. Buy them their Christmas CDs early. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>